The elements of hip hop go beyond the dance to the streets where artists take a chance. In the Bronx where young men on the go paint trains and walls like Picasso. Graffiti is what they call their art and it's here where they get their start. Though you may think these policemen bores, they battle kids like Brim and graffiti wars. These are the stickers we're using as evidence. Some of those kids were locked up on the graffiti. Art versus transit, fame, uh, the new king of all the vandals. Uh, the rest of you all have your assignment? Yeah. Uh, uh, Hickey and Ski, I want you to stay uh, after roll call. I have a special assignment for you on a graffiti. All right, take your post. You're marching one day, right, Sarge? No. We have some information that they uh, cut the fence on the Jerome Yards. That's the new fence, and uh, they cut it right open again. Let's take a look inside the machine and watch New York's finest on the graffiti scene. What does this look like to you? Does this look like something that would be in a city, in any city? This looks like a jail, a prison. <laughs> Word, with all this barbed wire around you. What kind of feeling, I, want, I wonder what kind of feeling people that live around here feel with all this wire and stuff around them. It looks like something from Germany, the Nazis and all that. Krylon, Rustoleum, I feel like I'm doing a commercial for these things. These are about the best cans of paint on the market, and this is what they invariably will go out and steal. They never pay for their paint, they'll steal it. The only way I could figure it, that Mayor Koch and the head of the MTA, is not that they don't like graffiti, is that they don't like something they can't control. This is vandalism. That's what it is. It's somebody else's property. They're defacing somebody else's property. I wouldn't want them coming to my house and painting up my house. I wouldn't want them painting my car. Mayor Koch tried to, you know, get us to make a deal with him, that, you know, he'll give us 10 cars to be painted, and we'll stop the rest of graffiti. But it didn't work out like that, because, you know, it'll be fine for me, but how about someone else that wants to paint on a train? You know, I, I can't stop them, because they got their own feelings to express the same way I got my feelings to express. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna tell someone, oh, you can't express your feelings, only me. You know, that's not the way it works. Like I said, there's tens of thousands of these kids doing graffiti. Only a handful of them are, are really good. Uh, but whether they're good or bad, they have no business being down here. It's dangerous, they can get hurt, and uh, it's not their property. As long as there's something to be said in the ghetto, there'll be graffiti. If it's in a building or it's in a train, wherever something has to be said, you know, in New York City, that's the way we, we express ourselves. It might seem silly to someone else, but in New York City, that's the way we express ourselves. this it just makes me madder and makes me want to go painting more when I see this you know it, it, it burns me up I, I, I want to go out and paint and I want to show them that they can't win because they can't the war against graffiti been like 10 years and, and they haven't won nothing it took them 10 years to put this fence on It'll just take us another year to get into them. Just give us some time, we'll return.
from the northeast to the northwest, from the southeast to the west coast, from the northwest to the midwest, every rapper thinks he can rap the most. But it all began in Akabu land many, many moons ago. It was among the vibes and the powerful vines from which our roots do grow. The Yoruba and the Bantu, the Sotho and the Gotha, the Akan people of Ghana, the Rwanda and the Husa. They engaged in a form of praise done by griots or a chosen bar. Today we call it throwing down or maybe rapping hard. Well, who are you? Who am I? 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 I'm cat. So what? What do that mean? Then I'm the baddest MC lover on the hip hop scene. JDL. Big deal. What does that prove? That I'm the MC that make the people move. I'm EZ. Easy who? And what is your game? I'm Easy AD. I bet your girls know my name. I'm KG. That's your business. That's what you got to say. That I can rock it anywhere, anytime, any day. But chase it home. The DJs, what do they want to do? Bring in the funky record when you give us the cue. Oh, like 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Have fun. Who that now? Yo, what's that? Such ain't nothing but a tip. Oh, oh, no, girl. Oh, that's that's girl. on wrist. I oh. saw Heartbreakers on the door, and I just want to know, I know y'all's the cold, because what's Heartbreakers supposed yeah, to mean? Yeah, what's up? She all know. She 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 know. Well, we'll promise you the world and won't deliver. Girl, broken heart is what we give you. Make you feel like a million by the things we say. And make you feel like a fool the very next day. We're heartbreakers. <laughs> We're hard, hard, heartbreakers. Hello. Yeah. yeah, girl, it's me, the captain, with some rap for you. So listen up, don't talk until I'm through. This now up. you're sweet, you're fine, this and you've got class, but I feel things are going way too fast. It's not that I don't enjoy having you around, but I'm the kind of man that can't be tied down. Thanks for all the joy that you brought to me, and I hope you understand that I gotta be free. Hey. We're heartbreakers. And this is how we break your heart. Oh, you just go yeah. ask them a simple question. They're going to come out their face and try to talk about it's no, all about them. Did you them. pick the part when Cass got on the phone and he was talking to the girl on the phone and he dissed her? That was yeah. his mother. He wasn't talking <laughs> to her. Anybody can talk that hip-hop job. Uh, Tell him about it, Lee. Ah, sophisticated queen oh, MC. Oh, yes, of course, that's me. It's just a ceremony. The one that's going to take it to the top of the key. Introducing myself, MC Lee Salee. The blast from the past, superb in every word. Super female rapper, just the best you've heard. Lisa Lee is known to be the people's choice. Ooh. I get parties rocking with hey. my sexual fun. And yeah. when you see the queen walking out the street, I'm not super. That's my girl. Cause just incognito. I make the fellas sweat cause I keep their bodies hot. It's a woman's world. You got to give it what you got. And well, I'm sure party people and I rated the rock. And if it wanna be done, you got to give me what you got. My Fine girl. fellas in the place that won't steer you wrong. You got Good. to give it up or nice. leave, leave it alone. So get ready for this. Get ready for this. The party people uh -huh. in the place. Get ready for this. To you. So what you wanna do? So do you wanna rock the house and turn this mother out? Fly girls, are you with us? And if you're ready to rock to help me turn it out, let the world know what <laughs> we're talking about. To all the ladies, yeah! Don't you to listen. Dun 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 dun. Hey, ladies, yeah! yeah. Over the 1980s. Dun dun dun. Watch out for the fellas, yeah, that'll drive, drive you crazy. Dun dun dun. dun. Oh, look out. Hey, you better abide while we rock your ass. Don't know by now, you should have been told when they make the almighty, I broke the mold. 
Years ago, it was up on the roof where do Whoppers sang and drank 100 proof. Today, Bam and Biggs are a part of the force that rules and overlooks the Bronx Concourse. Fox, the Savage Girls, and further down by Steppens Avenue, the Ghetto Brothers, mm, Black Pearls, those birds, man, but they was all right. Black Pearls. Yeah, he's chilling, man. He probably still over there doing that same old mess, man. They're probably crazy stuff. In our whole kingdom, <laughs> Black Spade area. Savage spades. Nobody come mess in the spades area. That was a good thing about it. We used to always go to there, man. Let nobody, yeah, yeah. nobody come over here, especially in Brown River, the home yeah. of God. Nobody mess with Little Vietnam. It's with all the black spades and Reapers was fun. And power. And the mortars. <laughs> Got different Monroe look, though, man. Yeah. That's cool. It's be all grassy up, man. It's all dust bowl. <laughs> yeah, it look wild now. It's critical. As you get older, man, you can just see the beauty from up here, man. You can see this, this is your town. Yeah, the Bronx is definitely number one. It's your town. Number one. Everybody talk about Bronx is whack and dirty and stink. Looking from here, the Bronx is definitely on the one. It's beautiful. Yeah, I heard a lot of Zulu Nation running in Monroe now. Yeah, a lot of Zulu Nation in Monroe and Stevenson and in all these housing development projects. Soon the Zulu Nation gonna take over the world. We're gonna rise. Well, that wraps it up for this evening's edition of our musical mission. I'm Gary Bird inside of the GBE. Remember me next time you're looking for the perfect beat. Until tomorrow night, remember, you can make it if you try, but keep your head to the sky. No matter how hard you try, you can't stop us now.